Hey, would you like to read a story about race, inheritance, and most importantly, self-discovery? Well, Dreams from My Father by Barack Obama may be a good read for you. The story begins in Hawaii, where we meet many of the reoccurring characters in Barack Obama's life. However, one person is left inherently missing, and that's his father. His father, unfortunately, died in a car accident, and Barack Obama was just a young child. Without much experience with his father, he begins to question who he was, what he did, how he was like, and, well, his relatives and his, par and his mother, really, gave small stories, yet, Barack Obama's curiosity still lived on. Thus, he undertook an almost odyssey. He visited Indonesia, where he met up with his mother and his stepfather, and experienced a true foreign country stripped down to the bare bones. Chicago, where he met the true depth and brevity of the African American culture, and the city's lack of care to them. And finally, he goes to Kenya, where he meets up with his long-distance brothers, sisters, cousins, and his dad's parents, who, frankly, give him the hard truth. The people he meets really help form his character. It's hard to imagine a man so famous like Barack Obama becoming president at first, but reading this book entirely may help you understand how and why he became a, such a successful president of the United States. This book is not just about finding answers for his dying questions regarding his father, but rather to put together his mix of inheritance, his Caucasian and his African American sides. Putting them to bed and putting them at ease is really the main focus and message of the story. However, talks of culture, religion, status, and other ethical issues are addressed in this it, within its pages. Emo it is quite emotionally driven and truly puts you in his shoes. However, one thing I can say for sure is that I promise that this book is one that you, as the reader, would want to read if you like Barack Obama as a person.